Hello and welcome to Ask Timely. My name's Seb, I'm one of the co-founders here, and this is a video series that we use to answer the questions that you send to me. No matter how big or small they are, anything about coffee, you can send it straight to me and we'll answer it in a video coming up. So today's video is based on a question that James asked, and it's, if you warm up your ceramic cup before you put espresso in it, does this actually make your coffee taste better or is this just a placebo? So this is a really great question. Uh, because it's something that a lot of people probably do by habit, but not a lot of people probably think about why they do it. So the situation is that, you know, if you're about to pull your shot of espresso at home or even in a cafe, you're always taught traditionally to take the cup, to put a lot of hot water in it first to make sure the cup is really, really hot. And so when you brew your espresso and it goes in, the espresso should then hold its temperature for longer. If you put it into a cup that's pretty cold and the espresso is obviously going to cool down really, really fast, which is, you know, not what a lot of people are looking for. So the question is, does this really make the coffee taste better? And the answer is kind of. The answer is really obviously like everything we do at Timely. It's going to be based around what you actually like the most out of your espresso. There are a lot of people that when they taste their espresso for the first time, they're expecting it to be at a certain temperature. And if that's the case for you, and you really enjoy that kind of hot or warm espresso, then you should 100% be warming it up. But there's nothing really chemically that's happening to the coffee that would make it taste better at a certain temperature. So obviously some coffees are gonna taste better at one temperature than another, but that's more about the coffee itself than really about whether or not you're gonna be heating up your espresso cup. So if you brew your espresso and it cools down over 10 minutes and that's your ideal temperature, or you brew it into a cold cup and it reaches the same temperature faster and it tastes great to you, then that's pretty much the exact same thing. So there's not really any hard and fast rules. And so much so that I remember, you know, having a coffee at a cafe not probably a couple of years ago where they were experimenting with different things and they were actually keeping their espresso cups in the freezer. So the idea is that there's no hard and fast rules, it's really about what's going to taste best to you. So when we're actually assessing coffee around a table and we're cupping coffee, we always have a rule where we never make any decisions about a coffee while that coffee is hot. So we always want to make sure that that coffee is cooled down at least to room temperature and taste it again. And if it still tastes good, then we know that that coffee is probably going to have a little bit of life left in it. It's going to last as a, as a green product for a little bit longer and we're probably gonna get a lot more value out of that coffee as well. So we have a rule, you never buy coffee hot, and that just goes to show that coffee can taste good at a lot of different temperatures. So again, if you like your espresso really hot, then make sure you warm up your cup. But if you don't, then, and you're enjoying that, then make sure you do that as well. It's really about what works for you, making sure that it's nice and consistent, and really just kind of experimenting enough to find that sweet spot where you're really getting the most out of the coffee that you're brewing and you're enjoying. And that's pretty much the answer to your question, James. It's kind of. Unfortunately, there's no hard and fast rule. So thank you very much for your question though. I really love getting these questions about some of the more obvious things that maybe we don't consider all the time. It's really great to have these questions and just to be able to talk about them, not only how we approach them you know, timely, but to be able to kind of think about in more detail why we do these things. So if anyone's got any questions, make sure you send them through to me at seb at timelycoffees.com.au and I'll get to everything in a video coming up pretty soon. Thanks very much and see you next time.